All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, all right. Hey, you guys. Hey, my name's Danny, and this is the podcast. And uh, um, today we got a really good show for you guys today. And thanks for being here, and thanks for watching. And uh, today we have a guest. It's Kelsey, and she's in recovery. She's got almost nine months. She's got eight months solid. And, uh, you know, she's got a history in her past of... Uh, all kinds of stuff, you know, like Molly and ketamine and psychedelics and funkadelics and uh, everything. And, uh, you know, from what I understand, Kelsey, is it, uh, you know, as long as you weren't using meth or heroin, you thought that you were okay, right? Yeah, I said no track, no problem. <laughs> no tracks, no problem, right? Like, like, I'm not a tweaker. I'm not a junkie. I'm just freaking doing Molly and ecstasy and drinking to oblivion, right? Pretty much. And that didn't work out for very long. No, it put me into withdrawal seizures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not fun. And so, uh, you know, today we're going to talk about a quote that she has that uh, has a lot of meaning to her life. And we're going to show it to you right now. And uh, what's that quote, Kelsey? Um, it says, my problem was I wanted to take people to the top with me who didn't even want to see me at the top. Mm. Let's put that up here and read it. So when I read that, it's like people pleasing, right? Yes. Explain that. So I'm a huge people pleaser. Mm. So my thing was like, if somebody asked me to do something i wouldn't hesitate to to say okay like i was the yes man everybody wanted to um come to me because they knew i wouldn't say no right and so um like i was always trying to help everybody and little did i know that i wasn't helping myself right and so um my biggest problem was being able to say no see no is a muscle you know, it's, it's a muscle to where it's uncomfortable to say no because we want, you know, we want people's approval. We want to be validated by other people. And when they ask us stuff, we don't want to say no because we want their approval so bad. And then what happens is that we start losing ourselves in the approval of others. And so actually, you know, that one quote that says, if you, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So we're falling for anything all over the freaking place. People are asking us these things, asking us stuff, and we're like caving in. So actually we're losing our identity. Yeah. Is that kind of on point? Yeah. I didn't know who I was until I found the program. Boom. So, and then we find out that it's not the Molly that's the problem. It's not the ecstasy that's the problem. It's not the drinking or the heroin or the crack that's the problem. We got something inside of us that's the problem. Absolutely. And we start caving to the world, right? We start caving to everyone's whim. Everyone wants something from us, and we're like, here, 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 here. And then we start losing our identity. We're like, how am I doing? How am I doing? How am I doing? How am I doing? What do you need from me? What do you need from me? I want to please you. I want to please you. I want to please you. And then we just sacrifice everything that we are. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, um, I've just been able to kind of work those muscles lately and say no like hard stop yeah no 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 is great no actually builds character like no like no i'm you know i'm not doing that i'm good i'm good you know i i always talk about this uh quote or this term that i aspire to be and it's called unfuck withable it's when you're truly at peace and in touch with yourself that nothing anyone says or does bothers you and no negativity or drama can touch you. Unfuck with a bull. I love it. I actually have that saved in my phone from when you said it. <laughs> <laughs> How great is that? So at the end, you know, before, I mean, your first, uh, when you came to recovery this time, how did that feel right at that bottom? What did that feel like? Um, I'd say it felt like gravel because that's what was underneath me at the time. Um, I Literally and figuratively? Yeah. Like you're walking down a gravel road? Yeah. <laughs> I, um, okay. I was just kind of like, I'm done with this. I 
can't do this anymore. Um, a lot of people were pointing out that I'd put, um, I'd put everything else on the back burner just so I can get high. And, um, and did you? I did. I wasn't going to work. I was calling off. Um, I was telling everyone around me, oh, no, I don't work today. But little did they know I was calling out sick that morning through my phone and not telling them. I just said, no, I didn't work today. And so I would go and sit in my car all day and get high. And just think. And just think. Just think. Just think about you and your problems and the stuff and everything. Just think. And that doesn't work out very well, right? No. You can't just <laughs> think about it. You gotta act. You gotta put in the footwork. And right now you're putting in the fur footwork, right? I am. Right? You're helping others, you're being there for people, you're putting out inspiring stuff. You know, you're adding value to people's lives, right? Yeah. In a positive way. I actually, like, I didn't know that what I shared on, on my social media was actually, like, looked at and, like, acknowledged. Because I'll just share quotes all day that I resonate with and share, um, share about my recovery. And, like, I don't post how much time I have. I just post about the day. And everyone seems to be taking it in, like, into recognition. And, like, I'm not doing it to be recognized. I'm just doing it for myself. Because what I post on my social media is for me. Right. And not for everybody else. Like, if you see it, cool. And where's your social media? When, how, how do people find you? Um, I'm on Facebook. Um, but I only accept people that I know. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, weirdos, right? You no. know, hi, how are you? Well, I mean, if somebody does want to uh, a friend request you, they should probably uh, message you and just so that you can see who they are. Absolutely. Right? right? And then you'll be able, you'll be more open to accept friend requests. Because what you do post is, is inspiring. You post some things out there that uh, uh, do make a difference in people's worlds because people do see that stuff. How did that make you feel? When the person, when you get acknowledged, like, hey, you know what, that really helped me. It makes me feel good. I'm like, I'm glad I could help some way, somehow. And, um, you know, when I scroll through my, my feed and I see that someone's having a bad day, I'll message them. And I'll be like, hey, just so you know, I'm here. And, like, even if they don't message me, they, I, like, I still put my hand out and I'm like, I'm here if you need me. And, like, even people in the program, like, if they're new... Um, I'll give them my phone number and say use it whenever you need it or even when you don't need it if you just want someone to talk to and um, like even at night like I probably annoy my roommates because I keep my phone ringer on and all the way up because I don't want to miss a phone call because like, it literally can mean the difference between life and death absolutely it um, can I have a friend who had committed suicide and um I was the last one he called, and I didn't answer that call. <sighs> and his name is Thomas. And I'll never forget that. Because literally, he called at 6 a.m., and I woke up at 6.45. Realized I missed his call, tried to call back, nothing. And then an hour and a half later, I found out that he passed away. He See, sometimes, I mean, it's not your fault, you know? I mean, it, it, Kelsey, I'm just letting you know it's not your fault. That you be, then when you didn't answer that call, it's just uh, it's the journey of life, the realities, the varieties of our, our existence, and it's not your fault, you know. Um, that was just the end of that person's journey, you know. And um, if it wasn't, you know, you try to call you, and uh, um, you probably try to call some other people, and that was just uh, um, it's just the way things happen sometimes. It's super sad and unfortunate, and I'm sorry for your loss and uh, um, his family's too because it's hard. So, when you're saying that you do these social medias and then people validate you, I mean, people are validating you in a good way, and you're not doing it to be validated. You're just doing it because, let's see, you care today? Yes, I've all... I've all you, you care about people today? <laughs> like, as opposed to you just tripping on yourself all day and what you can get out of the world, you're actually saying, hey, I think this is important to me, and I want to be able to share that. Yeah, I um, I used to think I always care about people, but little did I know, like I was caring more about myself and my disease. Ooh, than humongous! I was, than I was actually 
caring and showing that I cared. Because, you know, you could say you care all you want. Yeah. It's the actions that you put behind it Boom. that actually means that, that you care. Boom. And so um, today I can say that I put action behind those words rather than just saying it. Well, that's what uh, I used to hear a lot where it's like, you know, when your, your actions speak so loudly, I can't hear a word that you're saying. Mm -hmm. But today you're actually caring about people and you're wanting people to respond positively. Not that you're doing it for that, but it's making a difference to where you're not tripping on yourself. So, yeah, so I, I'm really glad that you've been here, and I'm really glad that you're on the show. And do you have anything else you want to say, anything inspiring or anything motivational or something that you just uh, want, you want to let people know? Mm, take it easy on yourself. <sighs> take it easy. Don't be too hard on yourself because you know what? Today is a present, and that's why they call it a gift. Because it's a present, <laughs> and today is the most important day of our lives because it's the, it's the only one we got, right? Yeah. And we're treating it pretty good today, right? Absolutely. Cool. I never take today for granted. No, we can't because we have it. All right, you guys, that's it for the show. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you, Kelsey, for being on here. I just love you so much. Thank you. <laughs> You're great to watch on this journey. Awesome. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for being here. Bam! Every Saturday at 9 o'clock. Have a great, wonderful, amazing day. Namaste, blessings of light and love, and we'll see you next time.